Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how you can uh, add Valorant and how you can allow Valorant through Windows Defender Firewall. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, first of all, what you need to do here, you just need to go to Windows Defender Firewall. Then you need to uh, press allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Then change settings and then remove all the entries here. So press on one of the tasks here <clears throat> and press V and remove the task. Then you need to go with a, um, another one. Uh, then you need to go to Riot Client. If there is a Riot Client here, also remove it. And the last one is uh, uh, VGC or Vanguard. So uh, here as well, sh it should be no Riot Vanguard or uh, VGC and then what you need to do here is to add them uh, to your Windows Defender firewall so the first one uh, you just need to uh, allow another app you get this window press browse then you need to go to your disk C and usually Valorant is on disk C right games um, then Valorant live and Valorant, Valorant exe file add this and add it here, as you can see here. Also, uh, uh, bootstrap package game, before you do this step, also remove it here. And then you need to add, have to add a Valorant TXE, then you need to add Riot Vanguard. So uh, uh, what you need to do here, uh, you just need to allow another app, uh, then you need to press browse. Then you need to go to disk C, usually it's on disk C, program files. Then uh, here should be right Vanguard. And then you just need to add the VGC EXE file, All right? And open it and add it. And then uh, once more, uh, another one is also allow uh, another app here. Uh, then press browse, then disk C. Uh, then Riot Games, then you need to look for Riot Client, and then you need to add Riot Client Services open and add it here, right? And that's pretty much it. What you need to do here, you start your computer, and your issue should be gone, right? So if I help you out, please press like button and subscribe for more. Take care, bye.